here the question is from the following trial balance has been extracted from the books of sri sundarlal on 31st march 2016 we have to prepare it is written in after the information on trial balance you are required to prepare trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2016 and balance sheet as at that date and adjustments are given and now we can start with in the books of sri sundarlal we have to draw the format of trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2016 by the way it is better to start from the credit side by sales rupees 5,63,010 rupees less sales return rupees 3750 and in the final column we will have rupees 559260 then by closing stock rupees 127410 then after writing the credit side amounts in the trading account we will have to come back to the debit side to opening stock rupees 120450 to purchases rupees 398160 then less purchases return rupees 2910 less computer 6000 why now please refer to the adjustment number d purchases included a computer costing 6000 this is not a computer shop or a computer business if it would have been a computer business the computers are would have been included in purchases and purchases returns but it is not a computer business hence it has been the name the word computer is mentioned the comp the business is buying a computer as an asset hence computer will be deducted from ordinary business purchases the goods are being the goods are traded exclude the computers as an item of sale or purchase this is an asset hence purchase of this asset will be excluded from purchases and will be shown in the asset side of the balance sheet uh, under the head fixed assets now hence computers will be deducted adjustment number d now in the final column we will have our rupees 389250 then comes your to carries inwards rupees 10360 to wages that is rupees 93770 then our trading account posting is complete total from the credit side that is rupees 686670 note it down in the debit side and find out the difference to gross profit added down that is rupees 72840 take it to the credit side of profit and loss account that is by gross profit brought down that is rupees 72840 here the other items will be by discount received discount allowed is an expenditure discount received is an income or credit discount is an income next one is two outstanding interest on loan now you can see there is no other adjustments in the regarding interest on loan in the adjustments but you can see loan at 8% it is given in the trial balance rupees Thirty thousand. If there is a loan in the credit side at six percent and no interest is there in the debit balance, that means low interest has been paid is not there. That means interest is outstanding in the adjustment. It is also not mentioned. Hence, this is called a called a hidden adjustment. Chup, uh, mat adjustment in disguise. hence we have to calculate 30000 at 6% that is rupees 18 1800 if we have taken a loan we will be paying the interest that is 1800 rupees to outstanding interest on loan rupees 
after doing this 1800 we will be moving down to the next item this interest on loan is shown in the profit and loss account debit side as an expenditure and though it is outstanding it is an adjustment it will be shown twice it will be shown as a current liability in the balance sheets liability side next one is your discount allowed it is an expenditure rupees 7920 to bank charges rupees 210 to office salaries rupees 12840 to general expenses rupees 15360 to rates and taxes to rent and rates that is rupees 7260 to insurance that is rupees 1410 see the adjustment less prepaid insurance now go down and see very important adjustment number c insurance includes annual premium of rupees 720 on a policy which will expire on 30th september 2016 Today is 31st March as for the balance sheet and 30th September, 6 months. Out of this 1410 total insurance premium, one policy which is having a annual insurance, which is having an annual insurance premium of rupees 720 will expire after 6 months. Hence, this policy is prepayment premium is rupees 720 into 6 by 12 for 6 months that will come to rupees 360 this 360 will be deducted from insurance less prepaid insurance rupees 360 and it will be shown in the final column uh, after deduction this will be rupees 1050 this 360 will be shown as a current asset in the asset side of the balance sheet now next one is to VAT dates 2760 given to us in the debit side of the trial balance, debit column of the trial balance. Next one is add current years provision. See current years debtors are 20,000 rupees. And you can read the adjustment regarding this. The adjustment tells us B part. Rise the provision for VAT for doubtful debts to rupees 15,000 hence adds current years provision rupees 15,000 this adjustment given below 20,000 into 5 percent is equal to 305 this is by mistake written there please don't consider that that is by mistake written add current years provision rupees 1500 and out of this less last year's provision given in the trial balance second last adjustment in the credit column of trial balance rupees 9300 and now so the final amount in the final column that is rupees 8460 then next one being to depreciation depreciation here given to us is 10 percent on plant and machinery and furniture at a five percent hence plant and machinery 10% of plant and machinery rupees 4328 and for furniture at the rate of 5% this is sorry this is rupees 512 now the in the final column depreciation on furniture is rupees 4840 now the totaling of the credit side is rupees 77,810 rupees now out of this all items in the debit side will be deducted and we can get two net profit carried down that is rupees 19,070 and this will be added to the profit and loss account now prepare the format balance sheet as at 31st March 2016 and start from the asset side which is easier to do this is current assets we have cash in hand and at bank that is rupees 7740 prepaid insurance rupees 360 Bills receivable rupees 3720, sundry debtors rupees 131550, less new provision rupees 15,000, and in the final column we will have rupees 116,550. Then closing stock rupees 127,410, being an adjustment shown twice. Next, these are your fixed assets. 
computer we have newly purchased that is rupees 6000 which was added to purchase this account now it is a fixed asset hence it will be shown under the head fixed assets it is next is your furniture rupees 10240 less depreciation at the rate of 5% that is rupees 512 in the final column we will have rupees 9728 and next is our plant and machinery rupees 43280 less depreciation that is 4328 10% of this and in the final column we will have rupees 38952 next item is our land and building no depreciation or adjustment is there it is 65160 rupees and totaling of the asset side is rupees 3,75,620. Now the liability side we will have current liabilities that is sundry creditors rupees 37,350 rupees. Outstanding interest on loan it is being an adjustment it is a profit and loss account or office expenses and shown in the PNL account debit side now it is in shown it is being shown as a current liabilities. Uh, in the liability side of the balance sheet rupees 1800 now long term liabilities and capital we will have loan account at 6% rupees 30,000 capital is rupees 3 lakh then less drawings rupees 12,600 add net profit rupees 19,070 as per the PNL account of profit and loss account of this year now the totaling is rupees 3,6470 and the final amount will be rupees 3,75,620 and this is the final answer.